soothing loneliness. When Prabhu saw his reflection upon the surface of the ocean, his heart did become pierced with despair, for now he was followed by his silent reflection, wherever he went, and his loneliness thus seemed ever more terrible. Prabhu complained before his reflection, swaying the surface of the ocean with his breath, the eternal companion of his words, swaying thus like a mother would swing her crying child. Having confessed he all worries and hopes, Prabhu, distressed, fell into a fitful slumber at last. Upon awakening, he did see, next to his reflection, the silhouette of another being. Try as he might, he could not see through the impenetrable surface of the water that normally would be so bright and as clear as crystal. Prabhu ceased to be the only incomplete as the matter of the skies divided. This new element was equal to him, but totally different, and thus mysterious. And then, Prabhu drew closer to the surface of the water, 